Hey, hi, welcome back to the series of software metrics. I am Tota Krishna Hema, your quality assurance expert. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about our second classification of metrics called process metrics. Let us get into the details and for the most slides. So, there are so many metrics in process metrics, but however, I want to list out four important metrics in this one. One is productivity, the next one is efficiency. Third one is defect density. Fourth one is timeline metrics like response time, resolution time, etc. So moving on to the first category that's called productivity. So uh, here let us imagine uh, a machine can produce 1000 products per hour. So the productivity of the machine is 1000 per hour. It is very simple. It is nothing but size per time. Size per time. So if you imagine that if you are uh, if you can write uh, 10 lines of code per hour so your software development productivity is 10 loc per hour if you are a tester and you can write uh, 10 test cases as a manual tester then your productivity is 10 test cases per hour so if you can execute 10 test cases sorry 100 test cases per, then it is like 100 test cases executed per hour so the software development productivity and the software test case productivity all these things all these numbers vary from project to project and uh, vary from uh, it may be uh, the goal value can be one at organization level similar to the other metrics we have discussed earlier so the next thing which comes into the uh, this is like efficiency efficiency like uh, in our engineering and in our other uh, studies like we will always find that output by input uh, output is nothing but how much after a process like how much you are getting as an yield when you give a particular input something like this so uh, here we have um, like testing efficiency which is discussed here that is like total number of bugs found internally divided by the total number of bugs which is internal plus external so that is nothing but unit testing integration testing system testing or qualification testing which is conducted in our premises divided by total number of defects which are found in unit testing integration testing system testing which is conducted inside plus user acceptance testing which is conducted at the in uh, user environment or customer environment so this is nothing but our test efficiency we are we are going to find it out uh, how much effective we are conducting testing in our premises our company so that is nothing but 100 divided by 102 into 100 this is an example like internally we have found 100 bucks but when you when you deliver after your delivery like uh, the customer could be able to find two bugs then this is the example like that so the efficiency of our testing is 98.03 similarly we have other uh, formula for the testing efficiency uh, the uh, bug fixing efficiency we can say so that is uh, uh, test efficiency is number of bugs resolved per number of bugs raised into 100 so this is measured in some of the projects but not all the projects but the testing efficiency will be measured every uh, in all the projects the first formula is applicable in everywhere but the second formula is a rarely used formula but some some places this also can be used so the next thing is like defect density defect density is defects per size and the number of defects per size uh, so this is not, this is a very simple like uh, the total number of defects or the bugs which are identified in toward in number of lines of code which you have developed for example if you write thousand lines of code and uh, uh, the testers could be able to find 25 bugs in it then it is like 25 divided by thousand loc is a defect density or you can even say that 25 clock 25 per clock that kilo lines of code 25 bugs identified in 1000 lines of code 
So the next thing comes into picture is like service level agreements. These are very important during maintenance projects. Maintenance projects which work on uh, ticket basis. For example, uh, you received a ticket, a complaint from the customer, or uh, yeah, then the ticket need to get responded. That means acknowledged. So an engineer at uh, the maintenance end will respond in a way like thank you for uh, uh, for raising a request we raising a ticket and we are working on it and within this time you are going to have the solution for this thing so this is nothing but an acknowledgement time that's called response time that is initial response time so the response time uh, could be within an hour or based on like you know if you are if you have two four by seven maintenance team then you can even put this uh, response time as 15 minutes too if you have uh, like the only eight hours working uh, team maintenance team something like that then uh, you can even write it as within one hour of um, one hour if they raise it in the working hours time something like that you can define your own response time but usually it will be within an hour or uh, it will be in hours in terms of hours and the resolution time could be in days to months to uh, because you know you will classify the ticket into severity one severity two severity three or the priority zero priority one priority one two uh, how much ever like these kind of segregations classifications you need to do so once you classify uh, the tickets, then your resolution time varies. For example, if it is highly impacted uh, ticket, then you, you need to address it very soon. That means your resolution time should be in a, in a day, within a day, or even no, you know, if the if it is a, if the system is huge, then you need to address it in, in, in two days, five days, something like that. So usually resolution time will be much more higher than the response time. In resolution time is like in which we are going to provide the solution to the customer. In case of queries, the resolution time is also in terms of hours only. So with this, I came to the end of this topic. Like if you like this, please click on the like button. If you want furthermore, quality and automotive related videos, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.